And it's time to create psychedelic Bob Ross painting. Oh yeah. Now, you might have seen me create a few Bob Ross pieces in the past, and I've recently got into landscape painting because of the great and the holy Bob Ross. Thank you, sir. And today, I'm gonna try and just fucking wing it, man. I've learned a lot of techniques about creating landscapes, water, mountains, the whole shebang, pine trees. I fucking love pine trees because of you, Bob. Let's paint several little happy trees. And you know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try and challenge myself and not follow along with Bob step by step. I'm gonna just wing it on my own. I got a picture of Maroon Bells, and if you're ever out in Colorado during the fall time, be sure to travel to Maroon Bells and check out the beautiful Aspens, because they are amazing. This piece of canvas is your world, so you have to make, you have to make these big decisions and decide what's in your world and where you want it, and how you're gonna put it on. There we go. Just like so. Very lightly, I'll just brush across it to take out the brush strokes. That easy, that easy. We have a fantastic little sky. It's very, very effective, easy to do. I was thinking, you know, what if, what if Bob did mushrooms or acid or what Bob, Bob trip balls? What would he paint, man? man? I was starting to think, and I was thinking he would just make a real trippy landscape. So I wanted to incorporate some psychedelic trippiness into my Bob Ross Maroon Bells landscape. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps it up for this piece. What do you guys think? I am such a fan of this and I'm definitely going to incorporate this style into more of my landscapes, explore with it, experiment, who knows where it goes, but yeah, that's all for this one. Love ya. Till next time. This is trippy.